lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you this week's mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you a tray of deliciousness. This is not a tray, this is a dish. I used to be able to speak English a long time ago. It's the end of the workday, my brain is fried. Uh, but I am still coherent enough to tell you that this is a rocongandule, stewed rice with uh, pigeon peas. It's a mixed rice with pigeon peas and something very classic to my channel and just to my culture, some fried chuletas, una chuleta frita, fried pork chops. They are smothered in ketchup. Smothered in ketchup. Right now, there's a whole bunch of boricuas that are triggered because I put ketchup on my fried chuletas. Deal with your triggers. If you are not happy, do not leave me a comment. I do not care. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay, folks. Buen provecho. Mm. Arroz con gandule. Oh. You can't get more Puerto Rican than arroz con gandule. Loving it. My my roommate had my my roommate cooked tonight. He was feeling pretty good. Um, my roommate's been dealing with a lot of health issues, and um, I believe I've talked about it in the past. I don't really need to get too deep into it, but um, my roommate is the one that cooks uh, week some weeknights, and he's been having a pretty good couple of days with good energy. So, you know. He cooked tonight. He made his wonderful arroz con gandule. Look at this. Este arroz con gandule está por la maceta. It is delicious. Mm. So, frito lovers, things are good. I have been working from my school office for the past two weeks, which is a miracle. Like a lot of you guys know, I've been in and out, you know, one week here at home, one week at the school. Something happens, we 10 days off, blah, 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 blah. I've said this like almost every mukbang, probably the last like 10 mukbangs, I've been complaining about how we jump back and forth. But we haven't. The last two weeks I've been at my school. Maybe things are turning the tide. I'm gonna have some chuleta. Mm. Mira la chuleta frita. Mm. Delicious. Loving it. Covered in ketchup. Delicious. Mm. Do not want to swallow a bone. Things are great, guys. Work is fun. Work is cool. Um, just enjoying the stability. Haven't had a lot of stability, so feels pretty good been a little bit afraid about the funding. Um, I think a lot of you guys remember last year around this time, I was informed that I would be losing my job June 30th, which I did, and then was rehired three weeks later. Um, rumor had it, rumor had it that that was going to happen again this year, but new rumors are saying that we should all be prepping for the summer because we're all gonna be working for the summer. Everybody do this for me, do this for me. I like to be able to buy food, pay rent, and buy insulin. So, I'll, hopefully I'll be working in the summer. Hopefully I'll be working, period. Social services is still reeling from budget cuts left and right. Children and young people aren't always a priority in this city and in this state. Despite the fact that many of us work in social services, working with community youth and families, sometimes we're the first ones cut. And when you work for a system that has institutionalized racism and doesn't care about black and Latinx and young Asian children, in any way. Budget cuts are to ex be expected, but let's see what's gonna happen. Mm. I know I'm getting racial. I'm sorry, I'm getting racial. Please forgive me, I'm getting political and racial. 
talking about all the institutionalized racism in New York City and New York State and the United States and the Western Hemisphere and the all over the planet. I'll bring it back down to the gandules. The gandules are amazing. Mm. Just doing great, guys. I wish I had a parque chronicle. Man, that park is just whack these days. The park is nice and calm. There's no drama, nothing to report. Now, I'm happy that there's no drama. There's been some scary drama, funny drama. It's been a mixed bag. And I think uh, no new drama is good drama. Things are good. Things are good. Um, planning and thinking about the future. I'm kind of working on some plan A's and plan B's. For the summer, plan A, of course, is to work, do summer camp, work for seven weeks, do the whole summer camp thing. Plan B, if I'm forced, if I'm forced out of a work position or I'm laid off or furloughed or whatever they're going to call it this year, if that really does happen, I got to go back to Puerto Rico. I was supposed to go back to Puerto Rico about a few years ago. I haven't been to Puerto Rico in 2006. Yes, 2006, 2007. 2007? Yeah. 2007, I think. Summer of 2007, which for a proud Puerto Rican like me, a lot of people are like, are you kidding? I'm like, yeah, I'm just not a big traveler. Mi gente, a mi no me gusta viajar. I'm not a big traveler. I'm not. I'm such a New York City boy. If it isn't this city, if it isn't concrete, steel, and glass, I don't want to be around it. But I need to go back to my island, see some friends and family, reconnect, get away from New York City. But I am only going back if things get better in Puerto Rico. We all know what's happening in the world. And in different places in the world, they're dealing with a crisis, mishandling the crisis in different ways. Let's put it that way. And Puerto Rico is one of those places even though I have some friends and family that have gone to Puerto Rico in the last couple of months. I don't know. I hear the news and it's scary. And I've got friends that are like, just be careful and everything will be fine. But I'm a diabetic. I have respiratory issues. I live with someone who's uh, dealing with a lot of health immunity issues, health crises. I'm not about taking any risks that I don't have to take. But if things do get better on the island, mm, maybe July or August, again, plan B if I'm not working. If I am working, I'm not going nowhere. When my, when my summer break is over after camp, I will do a staycation in New York City. Maybe, maybe. I'll go to one of the neighboring states where if you go, you don't have to quarantine and blah, blah, blah. In, in New York, in the New York state area, you can travel to Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, New Jersey, and I think Vermont. You can go to all of those places and you don't have to quarantine when you get there or quarantine when you come back. You don't have to do any of that. Maybe I'll spend some time in Philly. Maybe go to Boston for a weekend or for a couple of days. Maybe. I have no desire to travel amidst all the craziness. Everybody do you. There are a lot of people like, it's time to travel. Let's go everywhere. Oh, I'm vaccinated. I can go wherever I want. I am not down with that. <laughs> hey, listen, mi gente. This diehard New Yorker, I haven't been on a New York City subway or bus since March of last year. That's right, folks. I have stayed my ass uptown. I have been throughout the Bronx, throughout Harlem, throughout Inwood, throughout Washington Heights. I think the most Southern I have gone is 96th Street, which is the Upper West Side. Your boy has not been on a train since March of 2020. Because the train systems, even though they're cleaning them and they close early and they're being just, uh, what do you call it, disinfected and blah, 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 blah. There's still a lot of people cramming up on top of you. And I am not for that. Pre-crisis, pre-insanity, 
It was just what you did in New York City. You didn't want to be crowded in the train. You just didn't get on the train. Nowadays, sorry. I'm fully vaccinated. Things have gotten somewhat better in New York City, but you know, I don't want to talk about all this anymore. Listen, I'm thinking about traveling. I'm thinking about traveling. Again, go to Puerto Rico. Maybe go by myself. Maybe go with David. I've never been to Puerto Rico with David. But there is this part of me that wants to go by myself and see some friends and kind of do my own thing. No shade to David. I love traveling with David, but I don't know. I would like to maybe have that return to the island experience for myself. David is watching this and he's like, what the fuck? Where are you going without me? What? <laughs> Sorry, baby. We'll talk about it later. I don't know. I've been thinking about Cuba. I know some people are shocked. I've been thinking about Cuba. I've been to Cuba before. I have friends and family there. I'm not going to get into the politics of it. I'm not going to talk about how I feel about relations between Cuba and the United States. All I will say is that I have friends and family there that I love, that I would love to see that I have not seen in a long time. And um, Cuba would definitely be something that I would go to by myself and see some old friends. One time in my life, I was thinking of going to the film school, the international film school in Cuba. But I changed my mind, you know, but I'm not a, again, it sounds like a contradiction. I'm not someone who enjoys travel, but I have been thinking about traveling a lot. Cuba, Puerto Rico, New Jersey, <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> um, I don't know. If I have the time in the summer and I have the cojones and el dinero, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it, Sofrito lovers. Where should I go? Where should I go? What shall I be? What shall I do? Mm. Ay, ay, ay. The chuletas banging. Banging. Oh, I haven't, I haven't done this in a while. Look, folks. I am washing it all down with some... I know some of you are thinking Coke Zero. No. No, no, no. Cherry Coke Zero. Oh my God. Cherry Coke Zero is the bomb. Oh my God. And that, that I don't like cherry flavored anything except cherries. I actually like the fruit and I like the fruit juice, but when it comes to like artificial tasting cherry things, I'm usually grossed out, but mm -mm, not this. Loving this. Mm. Mm. Very good. Coke Zero. Addicted. Love it. Cherry Coke Zero. Never thought I would like it. My roommate once bought some and I was like, oh, well, got to drink it. He bought it for me. Changed my mind. I had him taste it because he likes like Pepsi. I think he's the one that likes Cherry Pepsi or Pepsi Cherry, whatever. He didn't like it. So it became all mine. Mmm. Ay, ay, ay. So Frito Lover is a little bit of everything in this mug bomb. Just touching base with you guys. Where do you think, should I travel, you guys? Should I go to Puerto Rico? Should I go to Cuba? Should I go to New Jersey? Where should I go? You let me know in the comments below. Where should I go? I'm still a little timid, a little shy, a little intimidated and afraid, but you know, Every day you get a little bit, a little bit stronger. I'm going to take the first step. Last weekend, I wanted to go and get on the train and go downtown with my partner. And he got all gassed up about it. We ended up having a super lazy, super lazy Saturday. And then Sunday, it rained like a MF. And, you know, when I go downtown, it's because I want to walk around. I want to window shop. I want to do stuff. I do not want to trudge through rain. I hate rain. 
I personally feel like we should get rain days and the school closes, banks close, like all that shit. Anytime there's, anytime there's wet precipitation out there, we should not have to go to work or do anything. That's just me. No matter how good umbrellas and ponchos and all that shit are. Pero yo no estoy encargado del mundo. I'm not in charge of the world, so. But yeah, it rained on Sunday. It was an ugly day and I wanted to be out, but I couldn't be out because it was a rainy day. Then I had to run some errands and go to the pharmacy and help my roommate out with some stuff. So David and I kind of turned, you know, went home on Sunday night, cooked, made him pasta a la David, his favorite pasta dish. And we just had a lazy Sunday to go along with our lazy Saturday. I got to make the first step. Before I can go anywhere, I need to make the first step and get my ass on a train. And then from a train, that'll be the, from a train, I can then move on to maybe a bus and then maybe a plane. <laughs> Still a little nervous and scared and it's okay. And a little traumatized and a little PTSD about this whole thing. Traveling is scary. A lot of stupid people. My biggest issue is control. Too many stupid people out there in the world that I cannot control and that I cannot punish. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, Frito lovers, I'm going to take care of these chuletas off camera. It was good touching base with you, como siempre. Be smart, be wise, take care of yourself, take care of others, be respectful of space, be respectful of each other. Go out there, go taste for yourself, go have some culinary adventures, como siempre. Mucho, mucho amor.